taking the poison out of your mouth. Legendary rocker Joan Jett and co-star Kieran Sheeran are acting in their scene for the film Dinosaur the Movie, a crime drama by director Fred Carpenter filmed entirely on Long Island. I play Stephanie. I'm married to Rocco. I'm a suburban housewife who has a pill issue. I'm having a fight with my husband about it. And I get pretty nutty and I go to a pharmacist in a pharmacy and cause trouble. What this movie's about, it's a day in the life of this New York City police officer. So Joan Jett is, is one of the pieces that, is, that he, he interacts with on his journey for that day. From the time he wakes up at six in the morning to the time he goes to bed at night. At oh, I wish this was real. Oh, I wish this was real. And Joan Jett just happens to be somebody who's in a really bad marriage. Oh, he's fighting with her husband. She has a prescription pill problem. Her husband loves her, but he wants out. They got money problems. And um, it's not easy. Scene 26D, take six. Action! I am tired of it. Well, then just tell me then. Joan Jett did a phenomenal performance. Really good actor. Carpenter, creator of 25 independent films, including The Night Never Sleeps, starring Armand Asante. What are you doing? You get a cop shot to death while on duty in some bar, and there's no witnesses, and his partners are all taking the power. And the coming-of-age film, Just Like Joe, set in 1969, follows the lives of three Bayshore High School football players. Carpenter, a Long Island native, creates his films entirely in his own backyard. Long Island, I always said this, has every location to offer the filmmaker except for snow skiing in the Grand Canyon. If you live here financially, wearing your producer's cap, why go anywhere else when it's right here? It's just going to cost you more money. The Long Island film industry has made its mark in Hollywood, inspiring Carpenter at a very young age to want to pursue a career in filmmaking. While attending Stony Brook University, he changed his major from a promising career in science to liberal arts, and within months after graduation, he followed his dream with a job with United Artists. In The Godfather, considered one of the greatest movies ever made, when um, the big-time Beverly Hills movie producer found the horse in his bed, and uh, they took a shot of the mansion, and they pushed in, and they dissolved into that room. That was a mansion here in North Shore, Nassau County, Long Island. James Caan, when he got bah, 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 at the toll booth with Jones Beach, Long Island. Why go anywhere else? Remember, when you're making indie films, you're wearing that producer's cap, and you got to think of money, and you got to think of the numbers. Listen, the hardest thing is the money. The other thing is when you have the money, that if you spend a dollar, and you only get back a dollar worth of production value, you're screwed. You spend a dollar, you better get back, you have a dollar, you, you got to get back 10, 20, 30 dollars worth of production value. How do you do that? Well, I'm a director, I'm a producer, I'm the first AD, I'm a location scout. You have to do a lot of stuff. It's, uh, it's a, not an easy game. All right, guys, you're ready to roll. Currently in production being filmed throughout Long Island is his police drama, Dinosaur, the movie. The Dinosaur, the movie. Check that on Facebook. It's the day in the life of this New York City police officer played by Robert Clohesse, an amazing actor, as most of you know, is a co-star of the hit TV show Blue Bloods. Chuck Zito, amazing actor. Um, I got some really good people, Ed Asner, uh, Joan Jett, off the charts, really, really good, good people. So uh, as a director, if you want people to like, like your work, you better have good actors because the two most important things in indie films is the script. And sometimes you really don't know how good or bad that script is until you put the movie together. But it's the acting. Remember, watching a film is a suspension of disbelief. You want people to go on that journey. And if they're taken out of that journey, because the acting is bad, you took them out of the movie. For more information, go to facebook.com forward slash dinosaur the movie. For Push Pause in Belmore, this is Archie Snowden.